Hey guys, what's up? So I'd just like to share to you about my journey to legend this month. Honestly, this was going to be my budget account and I believe that I could get the legend with only budget decks. So let's start with the budget face under. As you can see here in the upper left, this is a budget face hunter. It's budget because I've only got Mancrick as the legendary. I don't have Barak Kodobane, nor do I have Rinling's Rifle. So this is actually good, but it's 5-5. 5 5 50 percent win rate is not good. So uh, at certain times, you could snowball with like Iron Deep Trog. But since it's nerf, you know... You, you rely on Interpret Initiate and Iron Deep Trog and hope to doggy biscuit them on turn 2. But somehow it's not been working for me so when I got to 5-5 five, five, I had to change strategies. Then you see here we have my budget Quest Warlock. It's also 2-2. Two, two. Uh, it had a different feel because in my <coughs> non free to play account it was very powerful but when I got to 2-2, two, two, I'm like, um, it might not be that good, but to be f um, to be fair, you should play more decks with this, not just 4 games. I think it could still get you there. Um, it's budget because my only legendary is the Demon Seed, basically, and yeah, you could still win with a bunch of Flesh Giants and Baron Scavengers, but the new Tamsin hero is just too good not to include and I didn't have the dust or the funds to be able to do it on my free to play account and so we're back to I guess we're just back to Libram Paladin so it's not free to play I have been saving up for this deck since I started this free to play account so I have dusted a lot of stuff but yeah, it's just so good. Look at my stats here. Um, this should be one extra win because I got disconnected and I played it on mobile. So this should be 2718 and that just got me the legend. So if you add all my games, that's 2718 plus 22 plus 55. Five. That's gonna be 34 wins and 25 losses. So. I am blessed with an X11 multiplier, that's why I didn't have to grind that hard. But I think this 59% win rate actually higher because it's 27.18. So this win rate is still very good with the sample size. And yeah, I just made this deck up because this is my free to play account. But like I said, I had to dust a lot of stuff to be able to afford everything here. We have a lot of legendaries, Lightforge Kariel is a must, so you might be sick of me always talking about Libram Paladin, but hey, it's just so powerful. Now if you check the field here, I was up against 31% rogue decks, and that's pretty insane, and yeah, all of them were actually Masquerade Rogue, or is that what Thief Rogue is? I don't know what you call it, but it's Masquerade Rogue. And they're so powerful because the turn 2 null seems consistent. Um, I don't think it's a bug. I think it was intended that way. And if you have null in your hand while there's Masquerade, everything you draw discounts it. Right? Unless it's a neutral card. But I'm not sure with their list. I don't think they run neutral cards. So everything you draw is actually discounting the null. Then you get... Turn 2, 4, 5s which are insane, so if you're playing any other deck, you might not recover from that. But I am playing with my Libram Paladin list. I've got Lord Barov, I've got City Taxes, I've got Samuro, which is slow if you're trying to counter the 4, 5s early. But Lord Barov is just so good and so is Libram of Justice. So if they overcommit and you have Lord Barov City Tax, then... You just turn the game right over to your favor. I've been facing a lot of mirror matches too, but they run the HS uh, sorry the HS replay list that runs Trog. I think it was good before, but yeah, since I have some sweepers, unless they turn one Trog and then get to Hand of Adal, I think I'm just gonna win that game most of the time. Actually, we could pull the deck stats, but. Yeah, I'll probably do that in another video. 
But anyway, the most important thing is this is a rogue farmer. I I think I've got 13-2 against rogue with this list. So yeah, if you're facing rogues all day and seem to get, you know, discouraged from the turn two four fives or, or those agents that drop down, try this deck out. Um it's really good and you could get the legend with this quite easily. So yeah, I'm still that guy who runs Alex Traza. It really comes as a, as a surprise because most people don't expect it. I think other people expect some Mr. Smites or some Paladins, but not the 8 damage from Alex Traza. Rustrat Viper is there for the mirror matches and if they don't run Rustrat Viper, you're just ahead because you've got your own Kariel and they don't have their damage halved. So the intro is just too long, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's very powerful, this Librem Paladin deck, and I hope you guys use it. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you again next time. Alright, Shaman should be an okay matchup. If it's free Shaman... We have tons of ways to clear the board when they want to do their freeze thing. And Lightforge Kariel is really good if this is OTK Shaman. But I think Bolner and Yasaraj um, goes infinite. But still, I think Lightforge Kariel is a contender against the deck. I think we could apply pressure before they get to OTK. So... This might not even be Shaman, it could be Masquerade Rogue, and it is, okay. Knew it. Alright, that's okay. Um, we have a nice curve to this. Uh, they kind of consistently get turn to null though, so that's pretty annoying. I don't know if it's a bug or if it's intended to be broken. I think I could afford to go face here. Yeah, let's let's go face. I don't know. Uh, maybe it was better to trade, but sometimes I use my gut feel and just go face. Maybe 9 times out of 10 I should have traded that. Alright, look at that. Turn 3, no. Uh, very, very unfair, but... It's not the end of the world. We are 11-2 right now against Rogue. And I haven't faced a Garot Rogue. It's all... Wild Pawn, Knoll, Thief Rogue, Masquerade Rogue, whatever you call this, I don't know. Okay, we need to you get a Sweeper. Well, we have City Tax. What I mean is something like Lord Barov or Libra of Justice. Hmm, Knight of Anointment? Well. Protect ourselves first, I guess. Hopefully, um, they didn't discover a sap effect or something. Okay. Lira of Justice would be best. Oh, well. We top deck Lord Barab, I think this is better. I was about the Knight of Anointment and pray that I get Lima of Justice, but that was so much better. And right now, um, we're just gonna leave Room of Hope and put our life total up. The only way they win now is to really go Mr. Smite and have all the pirates and deal enough lethal, but I don't know. I think we're good. Okay. I cannot wait to 
healed up. This time I think I trade. Alright, so 13-2 against Rogue. How about that? Alright. 